before taking somebody from the St. Thomas and putting them in the St. Bernard Project, they knew the kind of tension existed. The St. Bernard Project. Y'all, I thought we learned science projects when we was in science class. Like back in the Jeep. Yeah, man, I used to be running through the St. Bernard with my partner Jeff. Rest in peace, Fat Daddy. You know what I'm saying? Right now we on Gibson and Sip. This the coat they used to hang in this coat way. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Used to be rapping and shit. You dig? Man, that boy, uh, that boy Funk, man. Funk was one of the coldest dog out this St. Bernard project. So to be clear from the outside looking in, we actually in the presence of where the St. Bernard project used to be, where the bricks used to be. Yeah, yeah, where the bricks was. The street we on is, is Gibson Street. You feel me? This street, Hamburg. This is the street that, that everything ran through. You know what I'm saying? And see this corner we coming up on right here. This is Ford. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of little stories on this Ford Coke. You know what I'm saying? Like every year they had the gazebo over here. You feel me? The one that they told down in the apartment of Pratt and Bernard Pratt. Oh, yeah. Say, bro, what's that bill like? That's been chaotic. Two walls busting each other wide, clean, open here, man. I'm going to plug you with, with, with some people from back here. You know what I'm saying? So they could give you that just do on that San Bernard project, man. You know what I'm saying? This 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 was really real Seven all the way. Hard, 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 hard. The hard heads. Hard heads, man. Hard heads Look, what the hard head, I don't know. You heard me? The, I, you know, it's seven wall hard heads, but for the San Bernard, I know they they savages. That what that what they is. The San Bernard savages. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Back in this. And, and you know, rest in peace to my big homie, Charlie Wap. Charlie Wap had a spot back here. And shout out to my brother, Hot Boy Ronald. Hot Boy Ronald had a spot back here on uh, right on the corner on Duplessis. You heard me? You Night War dude, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. And this this was like before they tore the desire down and shit, though. You know, because the San Bernard always had the baddest girls, period. The biggest, coldest project block parties. You heard me? It was out them. But well, the MELF kept some crucial shit by Pinkus, and the Magnolia had some cool shit, you feel me, on, on, on Magnolia and, uh, and Washington. They put a few of them in the San Bernard, and they put a few of them in the Ivyville, you know. And right now, how is what's going on in the San Bernard? The murder rate got so high, you know. Our wounds wide open, we ain't tripping, we got love, so we took a few that they got from back then, let them come on home, you know. And this right here, this is their famous store, this is their store called Spider. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And then like back that way, right now the jailhouse back there, where it been back there, the youth study, they also had a, mm -hmm. a spot, see down this street, all the way down there, they had a spot, these apartments that was called, you know, the street was Imperial Drive. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, free Nook, you heard me, free Farco Low, free Jeff. That's a special famous little spot right there too, huh? Oh, uh, stop jogging. Yeah. yeah, they do. Uh, like, that's like a sweet shop spot. They sell a lot of stuff there. Like, you know, everything with me started in a jailhouse, you heard me? Mm -hmm. And then for one, my little nephews from back here. You know what I'm saying? So, by my nephew being from back here, and they, they you know, they, you know, street, you hear me? It was cool for it to come through, you know what I'm saying? But then, while we're in jail, you know what I'm saying? I ran across, I meet, I meet Jeff. And I meet Fat Daddy, but I meet Jeff first. You feel me? And me and Jeff, we was tear reps back there in HOD on the fifth floor. Me and Jeff was tear rep together, you heard me? And we flushed the f out a lot of coming into that bitch. Because me, I stayed Joseph. I'm I'm, I, that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm a stay baby. I stayed Joseph. So it's feed up. It's second feed up. So what we do, when we was doing the HOD, you know, it's a three man, it's, it's 10 men to each cell in the street cells on a tip, you feel me? So we'll make the place and put them outside on the countertops that's by the, like on the windowsill, you heard me? I'm behind the pan and big old nigga come walking out that third cell, you heard me? So I'm like, I looked at Jeff, I'm like, boy, boy, when that boy, when that boy came in here? He like, man, that boy rolled in when you were asleep. I'm like, no, that bitch big as a motherfucker, you heard me? So the come he grab his plate off the thing and he come walking to the pan holding his plate like this here <laughs> that boy said man y'all gotta put some more scoops on this shit you heard me so jeff like huh and i'm like jeffrey be cool 
You heard me? Listen, listen, big man. We go, we do seconds, you heard me? I'ma start down there by yourself, big dog. You understand me? So the had the plate turned off, walk off, go bitch ass man holding this shit down. And Jeff trying to come from behind the pan. I'm like, hold on, Jeff. I said, boy, I'm, boy, I'm gonna beat that bitch up, boy. You heard me? So at the two o'clock movie plan, I would say, uh, me and him was in the same cell together. So I would say, uh, stay open. Cause we tip reps, we had to run, you know, run the whole tip. And the third cell, you was able to open that bitch with the handle of a brush. So boom, pop the cell with the brush, mm. open that bitch. And then in, 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 the, in the cells, when you walk in, it's full, it's full beds, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's four beds right here. Then it's the toilets in the sink, which is two of them. And then they have six beds on this side. Two in the cut and one to, to you know, all the way to the wall. So he's sitting on, on in the six-man cut. And I'm like, boy, come on. You hear me? Strap your shit. You hear me? Boom, that boy jumped up. Yeah, I've been waiting to fuck up. Mm. So when he done that, that bitch stood up. Look, I pulled my sweats all the way up across my stomach and I went in the full man cut and I was shadow boxing with the wall and I'm like, boy, I'm about to f*** this up. So look, that boy with the lab that boy said, man, y'all got this clown ass running y'all till da 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 I come back out that bitch, fire y'all. I hit that bitch, that big bitch went back because I'm I'm lethal with them That bitch went back. Then I got the same, but no, he was sitting on top of the rack. He caught that boy, bow. Boom, once he hit him, Everything come out of our cell, everything that was in that cell. We bushed the fuck out that boy, you heard me? Look, later on for roll call, that boy come to the cell, that boy looking like a mummy in that bitch, you heard me? That boy come to the cell. That boy told the deputy, yeah, I won't get from up here. Mm -hmm. The deputy like, Damn. boy, you a grown man. <laughs> the fuck you mean, you, you heard me? So you can't live up here right in the church. You know what I'm saying? Cause we on a juvenile tip.